Hey y'all, today I'm going to uh, talk about this uh, butane torch, it's called the pencil torch, and I'm going to show you how to fill it. So this is a pencil torch, I've had this for a while, they sell them all over now. When I got it, I didn't have them too much. Anyway, this is a pencil torch, you see the little tip it has on it. Some instructions on here. Turn to light like this. All right, and then the back here. That's where you fill it up. Now I know filling up with a uh, butane is a pain in the ass. It always splashes all over the place. But what you got to remember is you want to uh, do it in bursts. So you want to go burst, burst, burst instead of trying to hold it on there because that's not how it works every time you put it in a burst it it fills up a little bit more what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on my lighter where you can see it I don't know if you can see that level it's down here but every time I hit it with a burst it's going to fill up a little bit more and I know you can't see it on your pencil torch so you have to judge but what you do is just give it a burst. You see how it went up a little halfway here? And I didn't even spray any out. Watch. There it is, filled up. All right? So you want to give it bursts. When you try to hold it on there, it doesn't work too good. So what we're going to do is just give it. Give it like two or three bursts, maybe th I'd say three tops, four tops really. So I'm going to give it a burst. There we go. That was like four bursts, right? Now I can feel it's getting cold, so you don't want to keep going because it's going to freeze up this and then it's going to leak back out, right? So when you, uh, Hold it on there too long, it freezes up your valve, and then it just leaks back out. <coughs> so now, it should be nice and full. Let's check it out. A little erratic, a little erratic on that flame there. Yeah, it's because it's a little over full, I think. Let them leak out a little. But what we could also do is take off this tip, and what you want to do is blow back through it this way. So, you, if in case any uh, dirt particles came through, so we're going to blow it out like that. And I can see I got a little oil on the tip here. I'm going to wipe that off on a rag. Then we're going to put this uh, nozzle back on. It just slides on. Sometimes, it, you know, depending on which way you got it turned, it will react differently also. See? So blowing, blowing back through it with your mouth, or with, even with a with an air thing or compressor, you blow out all the dirt that gets in there. If it ain't acting right, you might have to turn this. See? Now these are good for uh, little soldering projects. You know, it has a nice little tip. You don't have to hold the big, big, uh, big torch, you know, with a big propane tank. And this gets just as hot as propane, maybe hotter. And, you know, I use it to solder like brass stuff and, you know, broken knobs with the brass. I could re-solder them. And they hold up pretty good because, you know, you get the good heat in there and the solder flows into the brass pretty good. <coughs> anyway, so that's how you refill your pencil torch. And just be careful when you shut it off. It won't shut off right away. There's still pressure in here because there's only a teeny orifice that this gas is coming out. You know, it's it's like the size of a hair. That's how thin it is. So you'll see this eventually dies down.
dying down. Make sure it's tight and soft. Not bad, huh? And you could get these for, I don't know, probably less than $10 on Amazon, at your local flea market. You know, that's probably your best bet. And that's how you fill your pencil torch. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.